In healthcare, we rarely use X bar R charts, but here's some interesting data. And this is about staffing variance, and here we have the four shifts and over a period of time. Now, this is very interesting data because it's actually the uh, September 11th. So we draw uh, X bar R chart of this data. You can see the range chart here. And it's actually the staffing variance. If I forget to label something, I do it later. But here you can see September 11th, 2001. And then you can see that this really affected the staff for about four working days. And then you can see another couple of weeks out that it actually hit them again. This is not unusual, all right? After a period of time, there's sort of a lag, and then it all happens again. So this shows what happened here over September the 11th to this one hospital. Staffing fell significantly. We could also use this to do a histogram. So if we wanted to see our staffing, maybe we only want to be overstaffed by one and understaffed by one on any given day. So here's our staffing variance, but here you can see the effects of 9-11 on this left-hand side, and here you can see our average is right around you know, zero, and we have one day where we were over a little bit. But this starts to show us that we're other than this special cause variation that's out here, we probably are doing a pretty good job of staffing. We might be a little bit understaffed on occasion, but that's what we need to, to work on. If we want to get to zero over and zero under, we might want to tweak this just a little bit. And we could again go out and do a, a fishbone diagram to find out what happens here and how to improve that. So this very clearly shows, however, that you know, we had a significant problem on September the 11th, and I guess that that's probably reflected across the nation. So that's what you can learn simply by using some control charts and histograms and the QI macros on your data.